Hello everybody, welcome back to The Frayed Brush. I'm Big Aaron. Um, today, uh, we're gonna be looking at uh, some more Monument Pro Kill products. They're, uh, they're transparent line. So we'll dig into those. We'll do some uh, spraying of them to so they look over white, uh, solid white, and then um, we'll use a couple of the figures from the primer video that I did to uh, see how they go over top of some actual uh, molded plastic or whatever it's made out of. Uh, first things first though, I'd like to give a shout out to Sean over at the uh, Scale Model Car Guy channel. Uh, Sean is a great guy. And I'm fairly certain that almost all of my subscribers, well, most of my subscribers have come from his channel. Uh, so I'll put a link to his uh, YouTube channel down in the description below. Uh, Sean does, of course, scale model cars. Uh, he has also done some, uh, some other projects that I've seen and I've even seen <clears throat> him do some uh, uh, molding of car bodies so he's got some really interesting things going on over there be sure and go check him out so the transparents we've got nine transparent colors we got white red yellow orange green blue purple brown and black and here we have nine primed bases uh, these bases were primed with the uh, Monument Pro Curl Prime White uh, and I did a whole video on the primers so be sure and go check that out and just gonna tout on these primers a little bit more as you can tell I've got this uh, this is black uh, cardstock right here because my trusty table was getting kind of dirty and I wanted a cleaner more solid background but you can see the light from my painting lights reflecting on this <clears throat> Well, if you look at these uh, bases that I painted uh, white, you can see there's no reflection at all on those under that light. That's how matte those primers are. So uh, great, great, uh, great primers to use. Um, <clears throat> so the first thing we'll do is we'll go and we'll take all these colors, except white, of course, and uh, spray them over top of these bases and uh, see how they look over white. Um, you know what, as a matter of fact, we're gonna go a little bit deeper. I am going to, um, I don't know how that'll work. Here's what we'll do. We're gonna take <clears throat> some of the Pro Acryl um, Cold Black, and we will grab the trusty wet palette here, and we're gonna go through and we're gonna put a section of black in the middle of <clears throat> all Paint has a corresponding uh, base that it's going to go on. We're going to shoot these at 25 PSI, a 0.3 roughly uh, millimeter needle through the Badger Patriot uh, 105. And these are going to be unthinned. So we're going to see, we're going to see how they are straight out of the bottle. Um, I won't bore you with the uh, second for second. So, compressor's on, airbrush is ready to go. It's cleaned out, I think. Looks okay. So, sit back, uh, chill out, and uh, watch and see how this goes. First one's gonna be white. 
Okay, so we got all the color laid down. Um, of course, like all Monument uh, Pro Curl products, sprays like a dream. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. Uh, the, this is the transparent white. Um, and you can see with the black dot in the middle, um, it's, it's a really great transparent. <clears throat> it almost looks like uh, probably an instant highlight uh, you'd be able to get from it. Uh, kind of like the way I did the uh, Zenithal Prime on the, the Ranger in the primer video when I used the transparent white there. Here's the red. All these look really great. I mean, that great coverage actually, however, still maintaining transparency. Uh, looks like got a little bit of overspray when I was airbrushing. And I didn't wanna just sit there and concentrate the airbrush in one area. Um, I, don't, I don't know how well it does if you just sit there and hold it in one area. The, the intention was not to try to cover up the black. The intention was to see, was to test the transparency of the paints over the black. And I think it does great. Um, yeah, these look really good. I like it. And this is, you know, th these transparencies is just one of the reasons, black's still a little wet. These transparencies is just one of the reasons you know that why uh, here at the Fray Brush, we've changed over to the uh, Monument uh, Pro Curl paint line. <clears throat> so I'm going to leave those there. And what we're going to do, we're going to spray some of these over top of some actual models to see how they look over top of a Zenithal Prime. And uh, I don't I don't think we're going to be disappointed. Uh, first of all, we'll start with the... Uh, I guess this was the Mimic Cabbage. All these are from the uh, Reaper Bones 5 uh, Kickstarter. Let's see here. Um, wow, that looks great. So, I mean, you can really start to get some uh, good values put down uh, just over pretty much your primer with uh, these Monty Pro Creole transparents. They look great. Okay, so let's go with the little, uh, we'll go with the otter next. The, there's the otter. Uh, looks great. Tell you what, for a D&D &D game or something like that, this bad boy's ready to throw it over the board and mess some people up. So that looks good. So now what we'll do, since I got the brown, um, go ahead and now keep in mind, my airbrushing skill is not good, but we're gonna go ahead and do, uh, go back and forth a little bit between the, uh, the, the white and the brown to see how well we can do this uh, do this cloak we'll try to throw a couple little highlights on the a couple little highlights on the hood the shoulders and maybe a couple down the back just to kind of play around with it so we'll get some, some brown on it just to see how it looks Okay, um, so there it is, just over the um, Zenithal Prime. Oh, I lost it. There we go. Um, we'll let that dry for a second, then we'll uh, throw some uh, transparent white on there. Try to pull out a few little highlights, then put the brown back over top of it and uh, see how they work for some of those uh, instant highlights. So we'll be back in just a second after this dress. Okay, so now uh, we're gonna take some little bit of transparent white, 
try to pop out some some really quick highlights so we'll uh, go over it with the white hit the, those few highlight spots and then we'll go back over it with the transparent brown um, okay there we go um, and again here's where you will see let me back out a little bit so it's not blurry um, here you will see how my uh, airbrush skills are not um, the best. Um, at the top of the head a little bit. Try to get the shoulder a little bit. Try to get the shoulder a little bit. So we got the head, the shoulders, and the bottom a little bit. Um, we'll, uh, So pretty pretty pronounced, but uh, that's the effect we're going for. Uh, so we're doing the highlights because we want that uh, white to be able to read through the brown and actually look like a highlight. <clears throat> All right, we'll get some of this brown put in here. Hopefully this will give us a nice nice uh, brown highlight. But let's see what it does. Okay, so um, I'm really pleased with that. Um, that bright is not from the uh, lights. That is from from the paint, from the, the transparent brown. So I think this is about as instant highlight as it gets. There it is, there's the highlights. Um, let me put my airbrush down. Ooh, well. Okay. Let's get in here. Okay, so. Okay, so here we go. Um, a little bit of issues with the focus, but even out of focus, you can still see how that, uh, we based it with that transparent brown uh, hit our highlight spots where we wanted with the uh, transparent white. Then went back over it with uh, the brown again. You can see how it really pulled out those highlights. Uh, so great product. All right, so that's going to do it for this video. Please be sure to uh, hit that uh, like button, hit that subscribe. 
Leave a comment down below. All of that is very helpful to the channel. I'll drop a link to the uh, Monument Hobbies website so you can go pick up your uh, Pro, Pro, Pro Acryl primers and your uh, Pro Acryl transparent point paints. And while you're there, you might as well go ahead and pick up the rest of the acrylics because with Monument being the, uh, with the uh, Pro Acryls from Monument Hobbies being the uh, main uh, paint we use now, <clears throat> we're gonna be uh, using those in the videos so you'll be able to see how they how they work on this channel and then go back to your own project and uh, paint it up. Again, don't forget to go ch check out uh, Sean over at the uh, Scale Model Car Guy channel. Give him a shout out. Let him know Big Aaron from the Fray Brush sent you over. Hope everyone has a great day. Hope everyone uh, gets some great stuff painted. And remember, if anybody asks, Big Aaron sent you.